Hello friends, again, I'm Kerry Wood from the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. Thanks for joining me for our second daily devotion. Today we are looking at what Paul had to write in his letter to the Romans, chapter one, verses eight through 15. Hear now these words from the Open English Bible. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all because the report of your faith is spreading throughout the world. God, to whom I offer the worship of my soul as I tell the goodness of his Son, is my witness how constantly I mention you when I pray, asking that if he be willing, I may someday at last find the way open to visit you. For I long to see you in order to impart to you some spiritual gift and so give you fresh strength or rather that both you and I may find encouragement in each other's faith. I want you to know, my friends, that I have many times intended coming to see you, but until now I have been prevented, that I might find among you some fruit of my labors as I have already among the nation, other nations. I have a duty, both the Greek and the barbarian, both the cultured and the ignorant. And so for my part, I am ready to tell the good news to you also, you who are in Rome. Paul is saying, I want to come visit you. I haven't made it there yet, but I will at some point, the Lord willing and the crick don't rise, as my granny used to say. So why is it that Paul wants to go see these people? Well, I think there are several things that matter deeply to Paul, and this is what's driving his desire to visit them in Rome. You see, reputations matter. And Paul has already heard about these people in Rome and how they have made a difference in their community. This hundred or so people in a metropolitan area of more than a million, yet their reputation is there. What is your reputation? What do people say about you? What do people say about me? You know, I'm challenged by Paul's description of the faith of these people that he doesn't even know. Do people who don't know me know about my faith? Well, actually, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing these daily devotions is so that you can experience a little bit of what my faith is all about. But it's not just reputations that matter. It's also giving thanks. That matters. We should take nothing for granted. We need to make sure that the first things, we put everything else into their proper perspective. And that's what Paul is doing as he talks about these people and what they are doing. Fellowship matters. You know, coming together in the Holy Spirit is how we receive our spiritual gifts and strength. Paul wants to go there so that he can give them the spiritual gift of his presence and they can give their spiritual gift of their presence back to him. The fellowship, the engagement, the relationships, the conversations, these all matter and it needs to be mutual. That's why I'm asking you to comment down below, to engage with me as we explore these things so that we can be not just one-sided me talking into a camera, but actually having an opportunity to have some discussions, working our way through this letter together. And finally, our actions matter. You see, Paul is saying, I want to be there. He recognized himself that, you know, he could have ignored or not worried about what was going on in Rome. They were so far away from him. But no, he, really, he knows he wants to always be ready. He never knows when an opportunity will show up to show somebody else how to experience Jesus. So I hope that that is what we are also making ourselves aware of, to know that our reputations matter, that giving ourselves, giving thanks matters, to fellowship, to be engaged with each other, that matters, and how we do it and where we do it. All of these things matter, and this is all coming out of Paul's desire 
to visit these folks and get to know somebody he's never met. I would love to get to know you if you and I have never met. And who knows, there might be some incredible spiritual gifting happening in the exchange. And I'll see you tomorrow for another Daily Devotion.